Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're talking about another thing that has caused us problems over the years, which means it'll cause you guys problems, and that is proper adjustment of a transmission shifter cable. Now this is something people take for granted or they just don't pay attention to, and it's probably one of the highest cause of failed transmissions. This particular instance, we had bought a, or found a cheap B&M ratchet shifter. Needless to say, they don't make them like they used to. And when we first adjusted it, it was fine. And then what we found is intermittently, the shifter would not go in and out of gears cleanly. So it was basically keeping the shifter or the transmission between gears, which caused it to burn up. We went through the transmission, everything was perfect. Uh, we only found it when we went to go put it back together. Uh, we were kind of confused why it burned up, but we we're like, we'll monitor pressure, stuff like that. It just wouldn't set. It was different every single time. And, you know, that happens with these Chinese parts these days. So uh, it's just something to really keep an eye on. But more importantly, no matter what shifter you use, you definitely want to verify everything works. And I'll show you the proper way to do it. So another important topic or tip is that uh, as far as your actual shifter cable goes, they are steel reinforced around the outside, kind of like a parachute cable is, to where you can flex them and they don't get in a bind. But if you put them in extreme binds, it's gonna have a hard time going in and out of gears. We actually checked that on that shifter and that wasn't the problem at all. Um, it was just a bad design. But I have seen in the past issues with shifters where you got things coming at such extreme angles that the shifter cable just can't move properly. So that's definitely something. We actually uh, are setting this one kind of loose and then we're gonna reroute it and check it again just to make sure because, you know, we just don't trust it till it's done. So we wanna make sure that we have it right and then we'll move forward. The first thing you wanna do is any transmission power glider 400 will come with these uh, linkages and the linkages have all kinds of different holes on them so you want to make sure you're in the right hole for the right shifter uh, even on the same brand say you have like a power glide and there's five different shifters they carry they might use different holes so make sure you pick the appropriate one um, that allow it to lay out properly and if you don't it'll be pretty apparent pretty quick on that you have it in the wrong hole so um, what I do is I just basically have John put the shifter in neutral up there in the car um, so basically on a power glide or any transmission, the only real gears that you're worried about being right are neutral and then all of the forward gear. So on a power glide, low and high gear. So what I'm gonna do is he's in neutral. Um, so I'm in low. You just wanna make sure you get the firm click basically, uh, which can be a little bit tough. So that's two and that's neutral. The key of it is like I said before, low gear, high gear, neutral, all need to have this little piece kind of go in and out really smoothly. Um, basically that ensures that when you shift the gear, it's not stuck in between it. So for something like this, whether you're doing it on the ground or on a lift, you wanna have a buddy in a car because you wanna go back and forth a bunch of times. You wanna verify it goes in and stays in gear going forward and backwards. Um, so it's just really important and it's just a lot easier to have two people. So I'll go ahead and show you. Um, if you know it right now, I can just push this in and out of the uh, bracket and it just slides in and out real easily. So go ahead, John. So that one was actually, I thought I had it and it was actually a little tight. So basically what you do is um, sometimes it this angle right here, if you have the bracket bent, can cause issues too. But you can see it goes in and out of it um, nice and easy. That was without adjusting. If you need to adjust it, pull it out and rotate this clockwise or counterclockwise intuitively uh, to make it shorter or longer. And you'll be able to see where it kind of falls in relation to the hole when you pull it out. Like if it's if it's wedged, it'll either be forward of the hole or back of the hole. So you obviously just need to change the depth of that. If you need to make a wholesale change, uh, you can actually change the, uh, there's a basically two lock nuts right here that set the depths of the overall cable. Um, but that would be basically the first thing you do and then you make small adjustments with this because it's a smaller thread pattern. Um, so now go to neutral, John. Well, obviously we didn't have a pin holding that in there, um, but it goes in and out of neutral real smoothly. 
Um, so basically, like I said, those are the three gears you want to make sure you have perfect. Park, it's usually two clicks to park or it's just a long travel. Um, that one doesn't really depend on anything. And then reverse, uh, just not quite as important. You're not using reverse with high fluid demands moving down the road at fast speeds. Um, and as long as that ends up pretty close. So you can actually go through and check those last couple um, after everything else is verified. But if you're gonna error on something, make sure the low, high, and neutral, or one, two, three, and neutral are exactly right. Um, basically, if a transmission gets stuck in between gears, the fluid gets misdirected, so it's not applying pressure properly to whatever gear it's in, and uh, you'll smoke a band or burn gears up, all clutches, that type of thing, and uh, it happens a lot, and it's obviously an expensive fix when it does happen. So a few minutes here saves you a lot of minutes swapping transmissions and fixing them later. Well, I'm gonna check it one more time before we're done here. Go all the way back to first. Okay, so just see it just kind of falls in and out of that right there. That is uh, exactly what we want to see. You don't want to have to pry it in or out. Um, and then what you can do is actually just to verify is just make sure your um, linkage is correct and seated. Sometimes it'll pull in and out, but it'll actually be between the gear. So you want to firmly make sure it's there before you say, oh, that's good. So go to second. So second gear goes in and out smoothly, come in from first and then go to neutral. So neutral goes in and out smoothly as well. So I would call this one done. Um, like I said before, don't ever trust the hardware that you're installing. Go back and forth and pull that in and out both directions several times to make sure it repeats. Um, otherwise you might end up with a burnt up transmission like we got. Okay, the last piece of this tech tip is a rerun if you watch Tech Tip Tuesdays every week. These little RC body clips work perfectly for holding this in. Jack Stan and Jimmy taught me it. Never use a cotter pin again. So we'll slide one of those in there. That's easy for field service work for if and when we break transmission on Rocky Mountain Race Week, we don't have to look for cotter pins. So slide that in, you'll be good to go. So that's it guys, just make sure you pay attention. You go back and forth a bunch of times. The tendency is I wanna get it back together and be done and just slam it together and do it once and call it good. But sometimes attention to those details will save you a lot of time, headache and issues in the near future. Like I said, sometimes parts come out of the box and they're not right. So do your homework, set that properly and you'll have a happy transmission. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to give us ideas down below in the comments for future tech tips that you wanna see. We like to share things that we learn and things we get, have you guys ask about in the comments on our future tech tips. See you later, thanks for tuning in.